Hi everyone, uh, we'll come you to this lecture. This lecture we're going to look at uh, generators compound which are long shunt. In the previous one we did a short shunt. So in a long shunt generator, this is a generator, a compound generator which has got a series winding which is connected in series with the armature. Okay, you realize that uh, when current is generated in the armature to pass through the series winding, when it reaches this node it splits. The other one goes to the load and it's step to the load current, whereas the other one goes to the shunt, which is called the shunt current. You've got several resistors, you've got the resistor at the shunt, which is RSH, you've got the RSE, which is the resistance of the series winding, and you've got RA, which is the resistance in the armature. You've got voltage, which is generated in the armature, and it's called uh, generated voltage, and you also have the voltage connected to the load. So relationship of currents, you realize that the currents in the armature is the same as current passing through the series winding. And this is series current is equal to the armature current. But this same current gives a summation of two currents, which are these. The load current as well as the shunt current. So that's the relationship of currents. Then the voltage, the voltage at the terminals is just the same as the voltage at the shunt winding, which is given by the shunt current as well as the shunt resistor. Then you've got the generated voltage. The voltage is given by the summation of these voltages. The voltage at the supply, the voltage which is generated in the armature, IARA, and the voltage drop at the series winding of that. Then you've got two powers. You've got power which is developed in the armature. It's given by the generated voltage times the armature current. And you've got the power which goes to the load. This one is given by the load voltage as well as the load current. With that said, let's look at an example. In this example, you have a long shunt compound generator which is delivering a load current of 50 amps. So we have the load current of 50 amps at V, which is 500 volts. So we've got V, which has been given by 500 volts. And as the armature resistance of 0.05, Amateur resistance which is 0.05 ohms. Series resistance, you got the series resistance which is 0.03 ohms. And you've got the shunt field resistor of 250 ohms. So you've got the shunt field resistor of 250 ohms. Respectively. Calculate the generated voltage and the amateur current. Okay. So, for us to find the amateur current, you can see this relationship. Amateur current is given by load current plus the shunt current. Load current has been given already, we have it. Shunt current, we don't have. So, we can find the shunt current from the voltage equation. Voltage equation is given by V is equal to shunt current by uh, shunt resistor. From this one, we can make the shunt current the subject. And you are going to have V over RSH. And this will give us the voltage V is 500. We are dividing that by the shunt resistor, which is 250. 250 into 500 is 2. So we are going to have 2 amps. So 2 amps is the shunt current. Since we have the shunt current and we have the load current, we can easily find the amateur current. Therefore, amateur current is the summation of these two currents. The load current, which is 50 amps, plus the shunt current, which is 2 amps. And we are going to have our amateur current, which is 52 amps. Okay? Then we need to find the generated voltage. Generated voltage is given by this equation. From that equation, you realize that V we have, IA we are just from calculating, RA we have, ISE, it's the same as the IA, and we've got RSE. So we've got all those parameters. All we need to do is substitute. So we have our voltage. V which is 500, it's adding IA which is 52 times RA, RA which is 0.05 plus 
series current, which is the same as the amateur current, so it's the same one, the 52. And it's multiplying the series resistor, which is 0 0.03. When we do that, all we need to do is to use a calculator. 500 plus 52 by 0 0.05 plus 52 by 0 by 0 0.3 we're going to have 504.16 so our generated voltage is given by 504.16 volts with that presentation this marks the end of uh, compound generators in the next uh, lecture we're going to do compound motors thank you